Hello. So I had something I was thinking about earlier today, and I've been doing some Qigong and just other energy practices and stuff like that. And uh, while I do that, it seems that a lot of very good messages kind of come through to me and really kind of profound, but enjoyable messages kind of come, seem to come through. And one of them that was coming through was the thought and kind of just me entertaining this thought of what if death is the exact opposite of what society has tried to show it as being and the whole time death was actually the same type of experience as you would have uh, um like say like having an orgasm it would be like that but like all the time or not all the time but like it would be like the experience of transition into that would be the very the same thing and what if that experience was actually the most blissful thing that could happen to you and that would bring you this kind of sense of relief and a, a feeling of um joyous gratitude for that even being the case and that's kind of what came to me but also there was another kind of feeling to it where there's a difference between suicide and natural death and that kind of blissful feeling like you you would only take that with you if you were able to hold on to that feeling as you were moving into death so like if you were to be if you killed yourself out of fear or something like that then most likely the experience of death will be something of great fear and if you go into it being afraid then most likely there's going to be the experience of great fear but if you understand what's happening and if you kind of like find that in yourself before you die in the first place and you kind of contemplate that and think about that for a little bit then you can start to see that that experience of death could also be the most blissful experience if done naturally and correctly and in alignment with with everything uh in the universe <laughs> it was just a really interesting kind of revelation that i was coming to because you know i i used to have a i, I really don't even identify with this this same person that i speak of when i say my like former self i guess but it was this body, I guess. I mean, like, it's very interesting. I just feel so different now with my thought patterns. And it's just that now that I understand the way that things work, I just don't particularly think of things in a negative connotation anymore, you know? Like, I honestly don't. Like, so <laughs> the cool thing about it is that I actually see things in a way now that, that, allows me to look at everything with compassion um but looking back on all the stuff that happened in my past it's very interesting to see though that and i can see how how all the things that happened led up to my thought patterns and you know everything that i had thought up to the awakening moment but um i also see how that was false thinking and how it was just uh based on fear so it's pretty interesting just to see that but my my view on on death used to be like i used to be afraid of it uh, a lot and i didn't know what was going to happen or anything like that until i started having these experiences of, of ego death and dying in the physical like like in this reality and coming back and then just like having all these kind of experiences of seeing how how death is just like a transition of consciousness and like we have transitions of consciousness all the time like when we go to sleep we transition consciousness states and things like that and all these different things, they could be taken with fear or they could be taken with love. And when taken with love, then you can see that you can actually attain these beautiful states of consciousness and then hold on to them in the physical if you just become conscious of the unphysical feeling of it. And you just have to learn to allow yourself to feel these feelings and you have to like allow yourself to be able to kind of let go of a lot of the baggage that you hold on to. But the message that I found that was very interesting was that death is actually whatever you make it out to be. So it's not it's not particularly the ending of consciousness. 
it's just a transitional state and um, it can actually be very blissful um, instead of it being fearful. And I thought that that was an amazing feeling to uh, feel that because I just, I felt very grateful, you know, and I've just been, I've been practicing, you know, different kind of energy exercises and they all kind of bring me different feelings. Some of them bring me mental feelings and some of them kind of connect my physical and my mental and some of them like it, they all kind of do different things but they're all so wonderful to feel and uh generally the feelings last for a good minute afterwards and it's really not that hard to to do it again and there's other exercises of just like just moving your body around you know and just like getting yourself kind of just moving will will help to get the energy movement and that will literally help with stagnant energy points in your body and those stagnant energy points like where that energy is built up and stagnant um if just moving will start to pull it up somewhere else and you'll feel the difference if you just allow yourself to look into yourself get past your ego meaning like the thing that's looking into these these feelings and like judging them and saying this is such a bad thing but yet perpetuating it at the same time you have to get past that and then look at the exact feelings that you're actually feeling in that moment. So you'll notice that doing these these very easy energy exercises will actually bring you into a better state of consciousness. And I'll do videos on some Qigong and stuff like that uh, later. And just more stuff, me talking about these energy practices because they really do make a huge difference. But I think this is all for this video. and. You guys have a good day and I'll do more today. Sorry for not having some videos out recently, but it's whatever.